Absolutely. We have Stephen A. Smith, who is going to join us now. Hi, Stephen A. I What's guess up, I have to ask you right off the top here, what is your reaction? James Harden to Philadelphia and Ben Simmons to Brooklyn. Well, I'm not a fool. I understand basically what RJ is saying in terms of, of, of what a fit James Harden is because he can be electrifying and we get that. And I certainly want to give my man big perk props in terms of what he said about how Philadelphia had to do something. But I also, in saying that, I want to say for the record, this could potentially, not definitively, but this could potentially go down as the worst day in the career of Daryl Morey. The worst day. Think about this for a second here. You gave up a shooter in Seth Curry. I hear that he can't guard and hurt a guy 27 on him in the playoffs. Stop it. The bottom line is he's one of the premier shooters in the game, okay? You think about him, he's gone. You gave up two first-round picks. How do you go from asking for first-round picks to giving up two of them? That makes no sense to me whatsoever. And so when I look at it from that perspective and whatever else they gave up, when you think about Ben Simmons and how he compliments KD and Kyrie, what he brings to the table in terms of his playmaking ability, his ball handling skills, his basketball IQ, and nor First and most importantly, his defensive prowess. There's no question, along with Andre Drummond, a big body that Brooklyn desperately needed because we know they were a bit thin on their front line. You take all of those things into consideration, I don't think there's any doubt that Brooklyn benefits from this trade. Now, when you look at Harden, Harden clearly can be electrifying. And I'd like KP, uh, Big Perk, and RJ. Can you please put them on the screen so I can look at them and not see this tag right here? I need to look at both of them when I say this. I I'm, I'm um, 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 did James Harden all of a sudden is he going to take off some kind of body suit and be thinner today? Well, he did um, it last year. Hold, 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 wait a minute. Wait, I'm just, I, I, these are rhetorical questions, RJ. <laughs> Stay with me, okay? Is he going to lose weight? Is he going to get younger? Is the hamstring injury suddenly going to disappear? What I'm saying to you is this. We're watching what we've been watching over the last couple of years. As great as we know he is, he hasn't been himself, meeting the guy that Daryl Morey was overseeing in Houston. And because he hasn't been that guy, I'm wondering how long can he be that guy, because I have no doubt he can do it. How long can he be that guy in Philadelphia? Because with KD, Kyrie, and Ben Simmons, and an extra big body on your front line in Brooklyn, I've seen Brooklyn as the clear winner in this deal. Do you agree with that big perk? Clear no, winner? No, and he know I don't agree <laughs> with it. That's why he's so close up on the screen, because he know I'm about to read him his rights. I'm you have the right to remain is, silent. Anything you say will be silence. held against you in the court of law. Okay? That's Let me right. tell you this. First of all, James Harden, last year when he got to Brooklyn, was playing phenomenal basketball to the point what people were talking about, is he the best player in the league? And he slid right on over to the point guard position. And even a, a James Harden this year that, that's been struggling, Stephen A. Mm -hmm. 22, still, 10, and 8. 22, 10, and 8. And he don't yeah. even want to be there. So that's imagine right. a, a motivated James Harden, right? Mm -hmm. A motivated mm -hmm. James Harden with a Joel and B. See, what Doc is going to do is move him straight to that point guard position. Now those 10 assists are going to go up to 15 assists. Because remember, you still got Tybo. You still got uh, Tobias Harris that's still there. You still got all these guys that James Harden is so great at facilitating for others. And he's going to make the game easier for Joel and B. We watching Joel and B score over two or three people right now, but you put another superstar cap caliber player with him, now it opens it up for the both of them. And now mm -hmm. James Harden is happy. He wants to be there. You know his partner, Meek Mills. Can I, can I, can I get hey, in here? Can I get, can I get in this? Can yeah, I get in this? Let, 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 let me get some of this. Let me get some of this. Let me get some of this. The only reason why the whole Daryl Morey thing that you're saying this might go down as one of the worst days in Daryl Morey's uh, career, the reason why that is like actually wrong is because you took a guy that didn't want to shoot, that didn't want to score, that didn't want to do anything, and everybody was complaining he wanted out. He hasn't played all year. All of these different things, and you turned that into James Harden. You turned that into James Harden right next to Joel Embiid, who is having probably the leading, probably the leading candidate for the MVP right now. So even if James Harden is this version of himself, mm -hmm. he is mm -hmm. exponentially better than anything mm -hmm. that Ben Simmons was going to well, bring to the table for the rest of the season. Well, that's really that's really astute on your part what you're bringing up. I wanted to I want to applaud you because you sound uh, very eloquent in your delivery. I, I respect that, <laughs> but that don't make you right. 
The fact of the matter is, is that you're trying to change my point of view. I'm not saying the Sixers are worse because of James Harden. I know how electrifying James Harden is, just like Big Perk said, and I know he makes them better. But who'd you give them to? If you gave him to somebody out west, I get it. If you gave it to somebody, he ain't going to have to play. I understand. You sat up there with, with KD and Kyrie. You gave them Ben Simmons. You gave them another shooter. And you gave them a big body on yep. a relatively thin front line. So what I'm saying is, as I said to Perk two days ago, but Perk didn't bring that part up. I didn't say Philly's worse because of James Harden. I, I know how big time that. of a play he is. What I'm saying is... Brooklyn, a juggernaut in and of itself, is already, they are better. Hey, they are better. I, and if you think, and let me tell you both, and let me say this to both of y'all, you're a champion. You're a champion. And you, my brothers, I love both of y'all. I didn't like the damn Chippendales look you had the other day, RJ. We'll None talk about did. that another day. That's what I will next, say to you, y'all are both my brothers, and I love y'all. Y'all are champions. Let me tell y'all something right now. Don't act like you don't know what the hell I'm saying. No. Brooklyn is better, no. and you know it. And this I, is about them against Brooklyn, who they will ultimately encounter. That's what I'm talking I, about. All I'm saying is, is this. My thing is, is that one thing that Daryl Moore know is that he could trust James Harden. Has James Harden ever let Dale Moore down? No. So well, it's certain, no, it's certain, no well, he hasn't. It's well, certain, no, no, there no. There are playoff appearances no, but, where but, people have but, said otherwise, but, Big Perk. But Stephen A, they he ran has, into K, has, KD. Has, they like, ran into KD and those Warriors, no, man. No, I'm talking about you. They lost to the San Antonio yeah. Spurs without yeah, Kawhi. Yeah, come on, Big Perk. You're not remembering. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, don't want to hear that. Without Kawhi, you lose to the Spurs. I don't want to hear that. You can't make a mistake like that wearing those glasses. Wearing the glasses indicates that you can see. You better watch your toe. You better watch your toe. Watch my toe. Who's the youngster here? You I know you're bigger. Cologne. Who's the yeah, youngster here? You whatever. watch your elders. You respect your elders, big boy. I'm still older than you. The bottom line is when you're wearing glasses like that, you're supposed to be able to see. You gonna forget what happened against San Antonio? You gonna forget what happened with there's what the there's word was about in the playoffs? There's series. only one statement that is factually wrong in this entire segment is that there is a potential for this to go down as one of the worst moments in Daryl Morey's history. Hold that's, on. That's, 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 if the Philadelphia 76ers, <laughs> if the Philadelphia 76ers go against Brooklyn, if Brooklyn mm. is the team that's standing in the way of Philly, yes, it can, RJ. Who's if standing? they're a the team that's standing in the way, yes. Who is they can that? beat everybody else. We know that. They can beat everybody else. But if Brooklyn is standing in their way, you made Brooklyn stronger, not only within your conference, in your same division. Stephen A., you make sure, them. Stephen A., we got to go to break. But listen, let me ask you a question. <laughs> over, the, over the last two months, who has been the best player in the NBA? Joel and B. Okay, cool. At least we can end with you two agreeing on something. See Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.